Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your bonus May 2023 reading. So what's going on for Taurus? Let's see. Ooh, the chariot. Things are going to start moving quickly. Either you're moving quickly towards something or something's coming in quick towards you. Cancer energy. Fast movement. Could also be something to do with a vehicle. You could even be purchasing vehicle. Okay, let's see. We have here the Eight of Cups. Okay, you're definitely moving away from something. You're leaving something behind and you're moving it in a hurry. Wow. Okay, and what's energy surrounding you? General energy is you're focusing on your work or working on something. Your main focus is your work. So you might be leaving a job maybe that you're no longer happy with to do something else. You might be just something on your own. Or you're leaving a situation, a relationship, or something really contemplating on whether or not to do this or not but when you do you're gonna do it quickly it's like fast it has to happen fast I feel like you feel like okay this has to be done like really quickly okay what about the past energy for you okay you have victory you got notice people are um admiring your your work or yeah so it might be that you're focusing on something new and that people in the past have admired what you did or you're standing above the rest here in the past okay so what might come in really quickly for you is some kind of balance here you might be balancing something out in your life or maybe your work and your your compensation is finally getting balanced maybe before you're doing extra work and not getting paid for it or it could be a relationship or something here that you're balancing out even give and take okay and what is coming in also in the near there's a page of swords by guy spy girl someone might be watching you or um, you also be learning something new here at the Page of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Let me get it. We have a change. So someone changed. I got the lizard here. There's some kind of change, some kind of shift here. Okay. I don't know why I can't get these. Stay straight. <laughs> I don't like everything to be crooked. Okay. And outside influences. Ah, trying to make a decision. You're trying to make a decision, but you don't know how to do this. We have here, this crow is like balancing themselves on two sharp blades, but can't see because of the blindfolds. So there, you need to make a decision, but you don't know all the facts, so you don't know how to make this decision. And you're afraid of getting cut. You're afraid of getting hurt here. Okay, how do people see you? Judgment. This could be something about something coming back around. Or they they might be judging you, or or they might see you as being very judgmental. But usually, judgment means something trying to come back in, something coming back around here. Okay, hopes and fears. Being very defensive, protecting yourself, protecting protecting your assets here. You might be fearing that you have to protect your assets. Okay, possible outcome. The fool. You want a new beginning, a new something new uh, Aquarius Aries energy taking a leap of faith a new beginning and we have the moon something hidden motions being hidden maybe not seeing everything um, there also be fear here this is um, Pisces energy and then we have the Empress okay so this could be your energy Libra Taurus energy coming to Empress. this is financial abundance this is giving birth to something new and we have the Knight of Pentacles okay so now with the Empress this is you coming into a very financially abundant time. All the hard work you're putting in here is going to pay off. You have, you're getting noticed here. You have the Empress here. So, um, and this could also be finding out about a pregnancy, but this could be you giving birth to a new business, new job, a new, um, new career, and something new here. Okay. So now let's see. Why do we have the Chariot here? Oh, oh forgot about the Knight of Pentacles. Offer coming in. Knight of Pentacles. Taurus. Virgo cat look it's underneath here. We have the tower. This might be surprising this author that comes in. We do have the swan here, but we have like the mother and the baby. So there might be some offer coming in. Could be something about a child. Something to do with a child. I mean this also could be uh, I think they're two different sizes. I think it's a mother and a baby, but it also could be I guess a male and female coming together. But here's an offer here towards Virgo Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady, someone coming in here. Okay, so now let's see about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot for you? Something moving quack fast. You're moving fast. I almost said quack. <laughs> Ooh, the sun. 
moving quickly towards your happiness or your or something coming in very quickly for you that makes you very happy the sun card here okay so why do we have the eight of cups here why is the eight of cups here the fool okay it looks like you're moving away from something for a brand new beginning you have the fool here twice here starting something new taking a leap of faith taking a sh chance here quickly Okay, what about the work card? Why is the work card here? The Eight of Pentacles. Now, this will also be apprentice, an internship, start and learning something new here. It might be you're focusing on learning a new new craft or something here. Let's see. Ooh, you're stuck in your head about this. So working on something, but you don't you're not sure about something. Mentally stuck, but this is your own mental prison. You're really not stuck. So I mean that's that's actually a good thing because you could say, hey, you really are stuck there, but you're not. This is something you're overthinking something. Okay, what about the Six of Wands? The World card. So in the past, you completed a cycle. You ended something. You completed a project, and you got recognition for it. And now you close that, and you're starting something new. Okay, what about the Six of Pentacles? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for you? Why? Is it, oops, popping cards. We have here the Hermit. Okay, you, this is you going into deep contemplation. It could also be dealing with a Virgo. But it looks like you're shining light on something. You're trying to get the answers here. You know, inside this lantern is the stars of the Aquarius symbol, the star here. So you are shining light on something. You're shining light or something's coming in to shine a light on something here to help you balance something out. It could be that you're getting information. You're going deep within. You could be like, this is also the hermit is like going into the dark night of soul to heal. This is the healer. This is the student. This is the teacher. You're learning something. You're healing something. Something coming into balance. Now, why do we have the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? coming in for you okay we have the ace of wands okay so this could be you're learning a new skill and it's bringing in a lot of passion and desire with the um page of swords or it also could be that someone's watching you i guess this could be a recruiter this could be um, a headhunter this could also be a love interest but it's bringing in passion it's bringing desire whatever this is it actually is going to turn off good here okay now what about this two of swords for your outside influences why do we have the two of swords we have here the lovers oh okay so i would say you have a choice with lovers this is the choice card then we have the two of swords two of, the twos are always decisions you're trying to make a choice here outside influences um yeah, there's some kind of choice that's coming in that you're going to have to make here. Gemini energy with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Got to make a decision. Could be a choice in anything. Could be a choice in a partnership. But yeah, this is a choice in anything. That... What is this? I didn't even notice before. There's a snake. This one the owls is stepping on a snake here. <coughs> it's a little smaller. I think maybe it's a female. Holding down the snake. <coughs> of course, we are in the apple tree, too. So that will be that, you know, the devil energy around. But a, a very decision needs to be made. Outside influences. Okay, now what about the judgment card for how people see you? What is that here for? Ah, they see your strength. <coughs> they see you need to be strong about something, maybe. Either they're seeing you as they're judging you as being really strong or they think that you need to be strong about something. Okay. Strength card. Leo energy. What about the nine of wands? Why is that coming in your hopes or fears? Judgment again. Wow. You might be fearing judgment or someone else is fearing judgment. So whoever is has to be go through this judgment, they're fearing it with denying um, or being very defensive about it protecting themselves or protecting the assets somehow but there is some kind of <coughs> need strength here okay so now what about the fool card for the possible outcome here why is a fool card here 
Oh, the Six of Wands. So there is, you're going to have a victory in a new beginning, a new start. Whatever you start here, what, what is a new... <coughs> Why am I getting all choked up? Someone is can't speak. They feel they're choked up. I'm sorry. Let me take a sip here. Someone is having a hard time expressing themselves. So all of a sudden, it feels like my throat, my throat chakra is closing off. <clears throat> so someone can, has a hard time expressing themselves, speaking their truth. And that's necessary here. I mean, we have the two swords here, but it's necessary. Speak your truth, Apostle. <clears throat> so someone might have a hard time coming towards you, speaking the truth. This is a victory, though. So whatever you're doing, this new beginning and this new start, taking a leap of faith, it's going to work out for you. Okay, what about the moon card? Pisces energy. Hidden feelings. Hidden emotions. Secrets. Scared here. Being afraid. Okay, we have the two of pentacles, but it's in reverse. So, someone's having a hard time balancing something out. Making it very undecided. I think someone doesn't have the answer. They cannot make a decision on something. Or they're having a hard time balancing something out with it being reversed. What about this... <clears throat> The Empress. What about the Empress? Why is the Empress here for you? Five of Swords. Someone was... It feels like someone's trying to prevent you from coming into your financial stability here. There's people around you trying to stop this. Because I feel like this... you Libra Taurus is the Empress. I feel like this is your energy. But someone... Unless you're dealing with an Empress here... Someone is trying to prevent this. This is conflict. This is, yeah, this is a very bad card. <clears throat> Someone's trying to change what you're trying to do here. But things are going to move ahead anyway. Here's the Eight of Wands. So money's going to come to you or com communication, whatever it meant to be here. It's going to, and if it's communication for a night, Pentacles, it's going to come in quick. There's going to be a lot of back and forth communication. But I think, yeah, someone's trying to prevent you from coming into your power at the Empress. <clears throat> What else do we have here? We're birthing something new. Someone does not want this to happen. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Damn. Fool, look at that. You're definitely having a new beginning. We have the fool in every deck. So you have a new beginning coming. No matter what, no matter how hard someone wants to try to stop this, it's going to happen. Aries, Aquarius, Energy. Oop, these cards. Look at this. This is the cards I flipped over. I thought it was more than one. Do I have anybody else? Okay, you look, you're coming into a new beginning. King of Pentacles. This is coming into financial stability. Um, building your wealth here. This is great. I think someone's trying to stop you from building your empire, building your, your wealth. But you have someone very loyal around you, and you're building something here. We have here Bambi. Again, a new beginning. I look at Bambi as with... um innocence and new eyes and starting something new here king of pentacles <clears throat> okay let's see what else we have here what else do we have here okay ten of cups you're gonna your ten of cups is coming in this is a happy home life a family of you know being very content it's like very stable you're working really hard here you're worried about it but it looks like it's coming into play here that you're going to be very stable i see that king of pentacles as your energy and having a very happy home life happy in love and emotions let's see <clears throat> but stuck up in your head here so this is people trying to interfere see you're trying to do things and you got people talking in your ear trying to confuse you i haven't seen this card come up in a while it's weird um but yeah so we have the two of swords here i think other people try to interfere you got to let those people be, you know, don't pay attention to them. They're trying to get you confused. And look, the lovers here. Okay, you're going to have a choice between lovers. You have the two of swords and the lovers here. You definitely have a choice here. And someone is stressing over this. Someone is in their head. Someone is, uh, but it's going to be okay because here comes the spirit. Clearing away all this negativity, the negative thoughts. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Uh, see, there's... I'm telling you, there's people around you that you cannot trust. They're talking. They're um, giving you a headache. They're trying to persuade you to do something that isn't good for you. 
And we have the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Don Juan, Don Wanda. And the Hangman being stuck here. And we have the Page of Pentacles. There is an offer coming in. Be a business offer here. Okay, let me get a charm on this Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have, ooh, the Vampire Teeth. Okay, I was wondering, the Knight of Wands did feel, I wonder if you're, if there's people trying to persuade you to go toward this person here. But they're, they're drained. They're, they're an energy drainer. Vampire Teeth. They're all way out for a good time. They're not, so you might be hanging in limbo here, trying to decide what to do. I don't always feel that with this one, but I do feel this time with the Five of Swords here. I don't think this is a good energy of this person here, whoever's coming in here. I feel like they're just out to have a good time, and um, they will drain your energy or maybe your finances too. Not someone that you can settle down with. Not someone, you're in this King of Pentacles energy. You don't want this energy. You need a Queen of Pentacles. Um something more stable okay so now we have the hangman you're waiting you're seeing things in a different perspective now there's an offer coming in here page of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn let's see what's that all about. okay you're seeing things you're seeing something or people are seeing you there's someone seeing something now that they didn't see before okay page of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn offer coming in okay so now let's see what the word is okay What's the word on this King of Pentacles? What's the scoop on this King of Pentacles? Apology. Karma. Married. Okay. So someone's going to apologize. Something about someone receiving their karma and being married or going to be married. You could be getting married. I mean, good karma could be coming from, from you. Maybe someone's apologized and maybe you get married. Because you do have... All the full cards here, so that's definitely a new beginning. Okay, what about this um, Knight of Wands? Let's see what the scoop on this Knight of Wands is. Talk. Past. Money. Okay, so someone from the past might want to talk about money or past money. Okay. And we have here a present. You might be getting a present. Someone might be giving you a present. Could be someone from the past or it could be money... Um, something to do with money from the past. Okay. What about this on um, page of swords? <clears throat> Pleasure. Cheater. Immature. Okay, so someone might have been immature and they they cheated for pleasure. They cheated just to have the pleasure. Okay, what about this knight of pentacles? Mature. Jealousy. Likely. Okay. So this person coming back in, they might be more mature, but they might be jealous. Okay, what about this page of pentacles? Let's just keep on the page. We have family. Sexual. Money. Okay, let me get a clarifier on the money. So something about the family... Coming into this about sexual and my oh the bank, okay. So what is this? Someone might be getting money from the bank to be. I don't know. We got the family too. I don't know, guys. If this makes sense to you, you'll know exactly what it means. I am. I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> that looks a little too weird. Okay, so if you if you know what it is, I mean, maybe someone needs money for something sexual here, and they're going to the bank, or you know. A, a sexual situation that they have to pay for the money is come the family is taking money out of the bank to take care of a sexual situation i don't know someone's seeing something here though someone's understanding something i don't know i don't know what to say with that one okay so now let's see what signs could you be dealing with what are the signs what are the placements in your chart or someone else's chart let's see what we have we have here Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius. Oop, two together here. It's okay. Virgo, Libra, okay, and Scorpio, 
and Capricorn. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. So we have Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Capricorn. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last initials, and you, uh, someone has a middle name, and you know the middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have T, M, X, A, B, N, Q, O, L, F, K. All right, so the letters we have here today are T, M, X, A, B, N, Q, O, L, F, K. Now, let's get the names. Let's see what names want to come up here. What are the names? Okay. Okay, so we have here Corey, C O R E Y, <clears throat> Sheena, S H E A N A, Tiffany, Aneta, A N E T T A, Ivy. Okay, I have more than enough, I guess. <clears throat> Pauly, P A U L E. Oops. Care, 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 carry, K A K A I R E. Okay. Bo Deja <clears throat> D E J A. Someone wants to speak, boy. <coughs> Betty. I'm sorry, I gotta get my voice is getting really scratchy. Sherry C H E R I E. Latifa L A T I F A H. Shaquana S H A Q U A N A. Kunisha, Q-U-N-I-S-H-A, Majade, and Ebony. 16, wow. Okay, guys, so those are names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, you can always check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. That might resonate with you more. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and comments, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.